Yesterday, Daryl Morey landed nine-time All-Star Chris Paul. Today, he's doing a satellite hit with two bald guys. What a tremendous drop-off. <laughs> Not the same We day. welcome the Rockets general manager back to the show. Let's start with this. Many people looked at this and they said, James Harden played great at the point. So how specifically do you envision this pairing working since they're both point guards? Yeah, I've been asked, I've been asked that a bunch. I mean, uh, I think it's pretty simple. Whenever you can add a, a USA basketball member, a Hall of Famer, uh, it's pretty easy to make it work. Uh, the guys who can play with James Harden are players who can defend, shoot, and handle the ball. Usually we have to pick one of those three. With Chris Paul, we get one of the best all time at all three. Uh, Mike uh, D'Antoni is already meeting with Chris Paul tonight to talk through how it's going to work. And, you know, he thinks it's going to be great. And he's also worked with both of them in USA basketball. And when the USA team's up 40, it seems to work fine. Well, you mentioned Mike D'Antoni. Let's talk about that for a second, Daryl, because Mike obviously is a brilliant offensive mind. And he, he helped James Harden remake himself already in, in one year. What does he have to do? We're talking about getting in a laboratory and starting from scratch for both Chris and James. Yeah, we had a top 10 offense ever last year. And obviously, we're, we're going to we work to be better than that. So I told Mike, no pressure. You know, he's just got to maybe be the best offense ever now. So, um, yeah, we, we think it's going to work together great. The players that work with him, I think uh, Clint Capella is already planning out his 450 lob dunks he's going to have this year. So do you, do you blow up last year's offense that was a top 10 offense ever? Are we, we, is it going to look totally different from anything we've expected from Harden and Paul particularly? It's going to be it's going to be different, but again, you know, both of them have gone through this working with Mike and USA Basketball, and uh, they know how to like when you have very very good, very smart, very multi skilled guards. It's a guards league, and uh, it worked. This is today's NBA. You got to have multiple ball handers, multiple shooter shooters, and Chris, as you know, is a tremendous defender. Been a, on the top defensive team for years and years. You've used the phrase weapons race to load up and take on the top teams. I imagine since you're in the West, everything you do has an eye on Golden State. How much closer does this get you to Golden State? Does it make you absolutely competitive with them? We feel like it really closes the gap. Obviously, they're the standard. They've won you know, two of the last three titles. They're one of the best teams of all time. You know, we, you know, normally, as we're planning this out, we're trying to get in that 60-win range, which really gives you a very high probability be the one who's holding the trophy at the end. Unfortunately, in today's NBA, you win 60 wins, you know, your your odds are usually a little longer than you even want to admit. But, you know, we, we, we've we got James Harden in his prime. we got Chris Paul in his prime. Uh, we got, we're going, you know, we have to go all in at this point. That's why we're willing to give up what we were to get Chris. And we're willing to keep, keep making moves until we can get this team uh, to give Golden State a, a tough, Tough as hell seven-game series. Let me get you out of here on this. Looking at the future with Chris Paul, do you plan to sign him to a max extension, or is it possible, because this is a business, that it's really only a one-year deal? Uh, it truly is just one more year, and uh, we're hoping to get with him, you know, when we're allowed to get with him and, and talk, about, uh, talk about bringing him back. But, uh, you know, we've never lost a superstar in Houston, you know, Players fight over playing here with uh, our ownership and the history, you know, the second best team and record wise in the last 10 years and two championships. Not many franchises can say they have two championships. So we're not worried about in a year, you know, convincing him to come back. Uh, we feel very good about that. You know, that's why we have multiple Hall of Fame banners uh, of our players up in the rafters. So let me go backwards then. You've got Chris Paul, you've got James Harden, they're great players. Cleveland has three great players as we sit here right now. Golden State has four. Two enough, or do you have to go out and get a third? Well, I'd say uh, we, you know, let's not minimize who we have. We have Eric Gordon, who's the best three-point shooter in the league last year, you know, based on the number of attempts he had. You got Trevor Reason, one of the best wing defenders. Ryan Anderson, uh, the best shooting big in the league. Clint Capella, who I think could move into that near all-star category. Uh, we're hoping to bring back. Uh, we're hoping to bring back Nene. So we have some tremendous players. We're not. 
you know, I, I can never rest in my job, but we feel good about the, uh, you know, the group that, uh, that we're bringing back. We've got a lot of tremendous young players that we think can, uh, can come along as well. Thank you, Darrell. Thank Thanks you, Darryl. much. Much appreciated.